Hello YouTube, so I'm back in Toronto after a very restful break. I enjoyed my break so well, I just slept and ate food the entire two weeks and it was a much, much needed rest, especially due to the high amount of schoolwork, erging, rowing, and all that kind of stuff I have, you know, in store this semester. So, um, you know, it's the night before the first week of school, so it's Sunday night and I'm just packing all my stuff. You can see it's very late, it's 12, 20, 12 29 a.m. Uh, it took a very long time for me to get out of my, you know, restful state and back into school mode. So, yeah, I'm just here preparing my stuff. I unpacked all my stuff for my luggages. Then I, you know, sharpened my pencils, got myself ready for my class, which will be tomorrow morning. Well, not really tomorrow morning, but the next day. And, yeah. And what I'm doing here is something I recommend for any student, whether you commute very far to get to school or you live relatively close to school or you live on residence, whatever the case may be, is to pack everything the night before, especially if you have to wake up early for something. Even if you don't have to wake up early for something, this is just a really important habit to start getting used to doing. Um, so it's just packing everything the night before. And sometimes you like you don't realize like, oh, like there's so much things you forget. Like, or for me, I can be very forgetful. Like, I forget to, like, you know, bring, like, hand sanitizer. I forget to bring my keys. I forget to bring my wallet, my phone, headphones, my charger, like, a mask, all this kind of stuff. And just packing, like, everything the night before makes me just kind of feel a lot more, like, I don't know, secure, confident. And I don't I don't feel like I'm forgetting anything on the morning of. And I also constantly check because I had done it the night before. And um, this is just really good because... Um, I don't know, it just keeps me really organized, just packing everything the night before and setting it in places I can find it, whether it's my clothes, my school bag, and all that kind of stuff. So you can even see me here right now. I am folding two sets of clothes. I'm folding my like gym clothes for my rowing practice in the morning, and then I'm also folding up the clothes I'm going to wear after practice. And speaking of after practice, you're going to see me here as I'm going to class. Um, I don't really have much time in between to take a solid shower between these classes and... Um, even rowing practice so I always make sure I pack like a lot of hygiene products such as a deodorant, a little like soap, a towel, mask, um, hand sanitizer, perfume to clean myself between my classes just so I'm not one smelly and also because I'm, I have gotten sick so many times in the first semester and I just cannot afford to be sick anymore it's just on my last nerve every time I catch a cold so to make sure that I prevent myself from you know catching any you know germs and all that kind of stuff. So um, here I am in my room, I am studying and just catching up on some notes I missed from the lecture as I rewatch the recorded lectures. Just because, honestly, I'm so glad that I have rec recorded lectures. Just because, um, it's like so hard like to keep up in the class. Like there's just so many people there. And it's only a one hour math class, which just goes by super quickly. But I'm not complaining, you know. Off to school. YouTube, right now it's about 5.41. Um, um, I'm a bit late, but I'm waiting for my bus to go to the gym for rowing practice. <laughs> These are so cute and they're not that bad for a squishmallow this big like ugh, I want to get one but I don't know which one I want yeah, I grabbed some of these and then the moon shade moon Let me try this one. Actually, no. I'm gonna go with the one I'm normally used to. No, 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 no. Need to avoid this section at all costs. It's a bit late, but here is my kind of food preparation. I basically boxed all the salads or the big salad mix into smaller little salads. Then, um, in the back, I have like some food that's defrosting that was in the freezer for some time. I seasoned my chicken, so I'm letting it like marinate. Then here is pasta I made 
and then there's just some other stuff. Um, I share a fridge with um, my landlady, so um, can't show you what's under there, but this is just my little section. So yeah. And here I have like all my water for like the entire, um, like not like the week, it usually lasts me like two days, but I just like to bottle on like all my water bottles and just fill them up with filtered water and then keep them in the fridge then just like drink them empty them all out then refill them i just find it more easier for me so yeah here is like all my like condiments and like sauces here's like the two tomato sauces that i didn't use of course then here is just like this really this is really good seasoning for like eggs and stuff then like some tea black pepper cooking oil these are like seasonings but it's in a tea box and then um this is a lemon i used it to clean the chicken i bought but i had an extra one so it's staying there then here are so much as other stuff yeah yep so here i'm cleaning out my room and preparing for the next day um as you can see i flipped around my laptop and i'm just organizing and rearranging my courses um, basically, um, I realized that all my very early morning classes are just not going to work for me. I need to switch a lot of my 9 a.m.s to classes that are much later in the day just because, um, yeah, like I'm not going to have a tutorial so early in the morning. I realized in first semester that did not work for me. And um, I just need more time getting to campus and actually like taking time to like relax instead of like, you know, waking up, getting ready, going to the gym eating breakfast and then rushing to like class. It just doesn't work for me. So I'm gonna have much more later tutorials because I also really like studying in the morning. So it will also allow me to um, go into class a bit more prepared than opposed to just waking up and dashing into class and stuff like that. Anyways, if that makes sense, um, I'm going, I'm, I'm obviously, as you can see, I'm cleaning my room. Sorry, I don't know why I'm so nervous doing this voiceover, but um, yeah, just organizing my stuff. My room is quite messy. It's crazy because you think you have a smaller room that it's more easier to clean, but actually like it gets just messy really quickly and can be very decluttered. So, um, and also that's because I have a lot of stuff in here. But yeah, so as I'm doing this, I'm actually um, like preparing my outfits for the next day. I feel like this works really well for me and I actually want to continue doing this and build on this habit. So um, one thing I have is I prepare my gym clothes for the day and then on top of that, I would prepare like my like outfit for the rest of the day. I might go in 2023 is to wear less like, like to actually wear clothes for what they're meant for. So like I'm gonna wear like athletic clothes to do athletic things or physical activity, then actually like wear a decent outfit to go to class and to my work study position and to like sisterhood events or like extra extracurriculars and whatnot. And then on top of that, even when it comes to going to bed and sleeping, I'm actually going to put on like sleepwear and pajamas. And that's something I really like love. I think pajamas are super fun. And I don't know, I enjoy my sleep when I'm wearing pajamas a lot more. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. So yeah. The other thing that is really important to me is skincare. Um, honestly, I just think skincare is really important. So as you can see, um, before I go to bed, I make sure that I at least, you know, do some sort of skincare. And I'm gonna obviously take a shower. I'm washing my face here, brushing my teeth. Um, it just makes me feel really clean and it gives me a much nicer and more relaxed sleep. Um, I also wanna, but like even while I'm doing the skincare routine, I realize that I need to start doing my skincare routine at least three hours or two hours before I, no, no, at least one hour before I go to bed because this actually allows for the products I use on my face to settle in without me like going straight to my pillow and all that product just sinking into my pillow instead of sinking into my pores if that makes sense. So yeah, I just wash my face and then I'm going to brush my teeth, well I think he's just on the brush my teeth, I don't know, brush my teeth then um, just yeah, do my skincare and that's that. Now, this is something I've been doing uh, quite consistently. Um, I only do this once a month, though, and it's like microblading my face. 
So um, you can use like a face oil or like um, a face serum or like even like conditioner or even like a women's shaving cream and do this. And basically I just like put it all over like my face usually where I get like a lot of acne and like little micro hairs. And then I am going to use like this little face blade thing and then just like scrape it all off. And um, it just makes my skin feel really soft and um, I, mean, I don't know, I feel really clean after I do it. And I heard like it's really rec it's highly recommended by a dermatologist, but only to do it once a month. This is a terrible angle, but I'm gonna do my skincare quickly. I honestly have to go to bed because I have to wake up very early for practice tomorrow morning. Um, but yeah, anyway, it's gonna do some go under. Ugh. Anyways, so while this sets, I'm just gonna go and then take some hair oil, this is the one by Miel, and then put that on my, in my scalp, and then bring it down, put that there, and just, it smells so good. Chicken mist. I'm just putting it under my eye to kind of like seal in that eye cream. Don't, I got this from a dermatologist that's on like that's on TikTok or like YouTube who said he does this. So I'm doing this too. Put some on my lips as well. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay. Now I'm gonna go get this. Okay, this skin cream, it's good for like dark spots. I have a lot of dark spots here. You can see it on my neck and obviously on my face. So just to help treat that. Okay, not the prettiest skincare routines, but it does work for me. So I'm gonna wear my hair down to sleep. Usually I wear it in braids or like big twist or like anything just tied up but um i'm going to be at rowing practice tomorrow morning and um i noticed when i was doing like exercises this morning or yesterday morning um like my bun was tied so tight like when i was sleeping and then when i was irking like i also had my hair in a bun and it was like kind of hurting my head like around here so i'm just gonna let my hair like relax and um yeah so um i'm gonna go to bed and see you next morning So here's dinner. It is, um, it's honestly our early dinner because I had three back-to-back -back classes. So like early dinner, late lunch. So yeah. Okay, so finished dinner. Now I'm gonna get myself ready cause I'm going to my sorority palace and I'm going to, we're like, we're doing like a sisterhood event making like mood boards for 2023. I'm gonna be running a little bit later for the sisterhood event just because I have this online um, certificate program class session thing on like CLNX um, for like a certificate program, not certificate, yeah, certificate program I'm doing on like religious leadership in the workplace or in corporate settings. Um, really excited for it. And yeah, so it's a Zoom um, like discussion kind of thing. So I'm just gonna put, do some makeup, get myself ready to go clean up while that's happening. See ya. So now I'm off to my sisterhood event and I'm just accessorizing. Uh, I cannot be bothered to show you guys another makeup routine. I had it filmed, but I feel like that was just too long in the video. So I cut it short to just me putting some accessories on and Literally, getting ready to go. Literally, this is this hat. I cannot even... So I just left my sorority. I am walking down beautiful Yorkville. Um, so nice. I, even though it's quite late and I know I should go back to, you know, my place of residence. Um, and because I have to wake up early for a special fun erging session tomorrow. I just really want to like, you know, enjoy life and go for a nice walk down this beautiful area in uh, Toronto. But it was super fun, the sisterhood event. We made like mood boards and just caught up and like, yeah. So, um, yeah, it was fun. I'll show you my mood board. Not every, like it, it's, it, it, I didn't put too much effort into it, but um, I saved it as my wallpaper. So, yeah.
so pretty here. I love this little hat on me and this little thing I'm wearing. Just missed my train, but honestly, it's so worth it because look at all these pretty lights. I don't know why I'm so shy of vlogging in front of everybody outside, but honestly, like, I think I'm walking in the wrong direction. Okay. Yeah, I'm walking in the wrong direction. Gotta turn around. I had to pick up some sponges. Okay, so here is the vision board I made during the sisterhood event. It took me like five minutes. I didn't really put too much effort into it, but um, I have a picture of Selena smiling because I want to smile a lot more. Then I have a picture of this girl getting skincare because I want to prioritize like my skin's health this year, like sunscreen, cleaning, you know, all that kind of stuff for my face. Or my skin overall then i have a bowl of fruit and some kiwi well yeah i have some fruit here because i want to eat a whole lot more fruit this year and also like a very good variety of fruit um that's something i want to do then i have this beautiful woman with natural her natural 4c hair out um i just want to have my hair thrive um so yeah just like take better care of my hair try new things with my hair experiment a bit more and just have fun so, um, cause I feel like even in the past, I would do like the same, like simple two strand twist hairstyle or like comb it up or brush it up into like a little puff. And I want to try to like be more fun with my hair, if that makes sense. Then I have obviously like a study session thingy right here where like there's like notes and fancy pens and all that kind of stuff because, um, school is a big part of, um, my situation right now. So I obviously I want to do well in school. Then I have this photo of Taylor Swift because I want to go to a lot more concerts this year, but I also want to be a lot more confident. I feel like Taylor Swift is so open about like her confidence and like even like you know, overcoming like insecurities and just, you know, being more true to herself and not caring what the haters say so that's kind of like my goal as well i also know she's going on tour so i want to go see her in concert as well as beyonce i already got tickets to see Ed Sheeran and khalid also elevation worship so just to go to a lot more like concerts and stuff and be more confident then i have this person rowing because um you know i really want to improve like my time for like my 2k erg i want to improve like my endurance when it comes to like rowing so um yeah that's like the goal so i have a photo of me rowing um then i like have all these like, alpha fee pins because i want to be like a lot more involved in my sorority and like philanthropy and um all the events that they have for like sisterhood and all that kind of stuff and then i have this camera because this youtube situation want to conquer that and then i have this tub with like pink water in it okay not pink water but like the water's pink but like obviously you can tell a bath bomb was like exploded in there so like i definitely want to take like a lot more because i feel like when i take a shower or like i like go to the like when i'm like doing skincare it's not very like mindful it's very like rush rush it's like okay throw on like the exfoliator put on the face wash wash it off brush your teeth throw on like go in like you know go in the shower shower get out you know like if i have to wash my hair just wash my hair then i put like my eye cream and all that kind of stuff and it's not really like mindful it's just more like do 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 and it's not really like taking you the time to appreciate and actually care for your body so um just put that there just to like i don't know as a way of like self-care to promote more self-care i guess and also, like, I want to start using a lot more bath bombs. I think they're really fun. I started using shower bombs last year, and I thoroughly enjoyed them, especially when I had, like, like, that's because, I, like, last semester, I was, like, on the novice rowing team. Well, I still am. And, um, like, about just that, we're not rowing on the water anymore. We're rowing in the gym. Anyways, but um, I would remember, like, honestly, like, it could be, like, sometimes if I had, like, a pretty, like, like or like it was like a rough practice where like you know i was super tired and like it was the practice wasn't rough i just like whether i was like really tired and like i just my back was sore my arms were sore and like i was obviously very sweaty then i had to go to class after practice you know like it can just be like you know like how to explain it like just going to the shower and just i could sit there for like a whole like hour 
so like after using shower bombs it like makes me like i don't know it's more fun anyways uh that's just me rambling but um yeah this is my vision board i kept it very simple i don't want to put too much like extra stuff like just keep it straight to the point eat more fruits improve my fitness endurance and like when it comes to like rowing then be more confident smile more and take care of yourself straight up to the point And for lunch, pasta. So if there's any advice that I can give you that I feel like I'm really confident in giving is like just going out and having fun with your classmates or fellow university mates. I am in this association and honestly, I have not spent that much time in the office or even like at other events. And I was super nervous about going to this event because I'm like, oh my God, I will not talk to anybody. I'll not interact with anyone. I won't know anyone. I'll be shy, I'll be awkward complete opposite everyone is so sweet and i had the best time ever it was probably far like the highlight of my week and um we went skating at the marley's ice rink in the coca-cola coliseum and then we literally got a chance to like watch we well we watched them play against the manitoba moose and it was actually super fun like it's my first hockey game i've ever been to and it was really entertaining and i will definitely consider going back again and honestly it was a free well it was free for me but like for like it was like as cheap as five dollars and trust me like these are like the memories you'll remember the most in university so thank you to like whoever made this possible because this was super fun and yeah so if you just go just have fun like just have fun like push yourself in university to just like be out there and take any social opportunity you can because you'll make great friends and i got to know so many of my association council members and um just talk and it was amazing and it was a great way to end this week so thank you and all the best to everyone who is in school and has a whole semester to go. I'm right there with you and uh, see you in the next one.